Oh man, fucking man. Mm-hmm. 
Hello, Jesse. Can you hear me okay?
Greetings, everybody. We start in about 15 minutes. Can anybody hear me? Oh, Ben. Hello, morning, John. Ben. How you doing? Hi, ben? hi. Fine. How are you been? Fine. How are you? bypasses today? <laughs> a lot. How, how many? Nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't operate today? Mm -hmm. Yes. Nine. Nine. Oh, right. nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nine. I think you said nine. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Nine. Yes. That's great. That's great. That's great. Robert DeBakey used to do that. He's a heart surgeon. Uh huh. Used to, he's deceased. I don't know if you ever mm -hmm. heard of him. Uh, Michael DeBakey. He was a South oh. African heart surgeon. He was one uh -huh. of the first neurosurgeons to do bypasses, heart bypass. Okay. Uh, he he did the same same level you did. What mm -hmm. one? He was in Houston, University of Houston. And he would go from one room to the next after mm -hmm. they harvested the vein from the leg. Mm -hmm. uh, the residents would prep it, get it ready, uh, which you do the same, right? They prep mm -hmm. the vein and the prep the artery. That's the level you come in, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll start in a few minutes. 
Okay. I'll be back. Mm. Uh, Jesse, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're in. So you in? You got in? Okay. Hello, John. Hey, Victor. Hello, Vinshu. Hello, Victor. Hi. How are you? Fine. And you? Yes. 
How many is today? <laughs> I know, Nine. I know. We just talked about that. <laughs> yeah. Nine. Uh -huh. I'm going to say none. I'm going I'm I'm Victor Bennett. How many surgeries today? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Too Victor, much. I want I want to test the screen sharing to make sure it's working okay. Can you try to screen share? Uh, it's been acting up a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Just to test it. Okay. 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 So it works. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. okay you can get off of there, Victor. I'll. I'll, I'll yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was giving me a hard time. Okay. Well, let me go to I want, I want to get a different screen. Yeah, we start in about five minutes. Well, that looks good, huh? Hi, John. It's Jesse. Hey, Jesse. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. I'm great. Thank you. Thank you. Can you turn your camera on so we get to meet you? All right. Hey, Victor, look at this background. You see the background? <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, Jesse. Hi, uh. How are you doing? This is Victor, the gentleman you, you translating for. Hi, Victor. Nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> it's really for me to turn on the camera when interpreting. So I'm afraid I have to turn it off uh, when Victor's lecture begins. Okay. Thank okay, you. Do whatever you have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. You know Ben, right? I don't know if you met Yeah, ben. yeah, yeah. I know Professor. <laughs> hi, Finn. hi. Okay. Hi, Jesse. Hi, yeah. okay. She Hi. does a lot of translating, huh? Yeah. That's great. How do, you, do you have a background in neurosurgery? You're not a neurosurgeon, right, Jesse? Uh, I'm not a neurosurgeon. But, but you have I've, a background, and yeah. you must have some kind of background in science. Uh, yeah, but I've, but I've been doing translation and interpreting work in the field of neurosurgery and neuro intervention. Oh, okay. So you kind of have to know a little bit, right? Yeah. But you're not ready to operate yet. At the beginning, <laughs> Jesse, Jesse at, at the beginning of the lecture, I added only a small, a small text in one slide, a small text. But all the uh, lecture is uh, the same. <clears throat> okay. Okay, no problem. Did you ever get to send them, uh, Victor? You send the files or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Thank oh, you. Oh, good. Did you did you get anything from them? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Oh, great. Thanks, Victor. Not videos because they are very heavy. Yeah. But uh, but that program handled it well. Yes. It yes. A, yeah. Okay, that's a good program, huh, Jesse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a Web, that's a great Web. help. We transfer, we transfer. It's called we transfer. Webtransfer.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. You give it a high recommendation. That's great. Yeah, thank you. Because we always, you know, we got to do more of that, Victor, because especially we, we, when we do in low bandwidth areas, the speaker gets stuck. And if we had the files, if I had the files or you had the files, we could screen share. Do you know what I mean? It's like a backup. Uh, but you guys, Connections are good, so you have don't have that problem. So so uh, do you know Doctor? You know Louis Borba, uh, Ben. 
Yeah, I know him very well. Actually, oh, we are okay. to the same uh, committee of the neuroanatomy. Oh, okay. uh, in last term of the uh, mm. WFNS, uh, uh, actually, I'm in five committee, but uh, now oh, in the WFNS, new... WFNS, you work with yes, them? Yes, oh, yes, cool. yes, yes. But in the new, new one, new session, uh, uh, one neurosurgeon only can join one committee. Oh, so, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm so now the head in, of the neuroanatomy committee, or you are? Uh, now I'm, uh, I'm in the vascular disease oh, committee. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boba was in the educational committee. Oh, okay. He, he also invited me, but uh, I couldn't <laughs> join. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do a yeah. lot of webcasting in yeah, Latin yeah, yeah. America with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot. Because he speaks yeah. Spanish and he also speaks uh, mm -hmm, Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. As you know. Yeah. You get a better background, Victor. I met him in different countries, like in Russia and. Uh, oh, you went to Supinox, yeah. Thailand? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, that's why I saw, I met him a long time ago mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he has a special thing for Russia. He seems to go mm -hmm. there quite a bit. Okay, there we go. How to get the very background. <clears throat> okay, Victor, you ready? Ready. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good morning from Miami Beach. This is Dr. John Bennett broadcasting for Neurosurgical TV. We have the honor of hosting Victor Hugo Perez Perez, a famed neuroanatomist from Mexico City, who's doing a series of neurosurgery, no, excuse me, neuroanatomical webcasts. Uh, and uh, we'll start off right now. Okay, Victor, welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you very much, John Bennett. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I am very, very grateful with uh, Dr. Bin Shu, who has invited me for these lectures. And uh, also a big honor because uh, I have been invited by Dr. Yuha Hernesniemi to China. I have been there in three different occasions, and that's uh, amazing for me. So today <clears throat> I'm going to talk about uh, posterior cerebral artery. Let me share my screen. So can you see it in the whole screen? Not yes, yet. It's, it's not yes? full yet. It's not full yet. Put it in presentation mode. It's okay now? Oh, okay, okay. Not yet, yet. not yet. Oh, okay. we fell off there. Okay. Okay, now I think it's okay. There it is, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'm, go I'm going to start with this uh, video uh, that uh, in this uh, I, am, I am showing here the, the posterior cerebral artery arising from uh, bifurcation of basilar artery. So in this video, uh, I am showing uh, these uh, small branches coming from P1 and P2. P1 segment from bifurcation to the junction with posterior communicating artery. Uh, as you can see in this uh, video, these uh, posterior cerebral arteries are uh, giving rise to small branches to the interpeduncular fossa. The most important artery in this uh, case is this, the thalamoperforating artery. Other arteries coming from here are the mesencephalic arteries that uh, are branches very, very small 
And here we have uh, some branches going to the cruz cerebri, to the brain, to the pedunculus, to the pedunculus. <clears throat> uh, I think uh, uh, I can repeat this video because I think it's uh, very, very interesting to look at uh, this uh, dissection. Uh, <clears throat> Both uh, posterior communicating arteries are uh, of uh, smaller than posterior cerebral arteries. This is the normal pattern of uh, presentation of this uh, uh, posterior part of a circle of Willis. This is uh, the third cranial nerve between uh, posterior cerebral arteries and superior cerebellar arteries. Interpeduncular fossa, posterior interpeduncular fossa. Mm. Okay. Uh, the posterior cerebral artery arises at the basilar bifurcation, is joined by the posterior communicating artery at the lateral margin of the interpeduncular system, and circles the brain stem passing through the crural in the anterior part, an ambient cistern to reach the quadrigeminal cistern and is distributed to the posterior part of the hemisphere. Uh, here we have uh, the mesencephalic branches coming from the P1. This uh, picture is really nice because we can see the trajectory of uh, these uh, small arteries. The sylvius aqueduct, quadrigeminal plate, and the mesencephalon, mammillary bodies, and here is the hypothalamus. Uh, in this uh, picture, we can see the lateral aspect of uh, the a crural and ambient cistern. Crural in the anterior part and cistern, cisternal and ambient cistern in this part. Here we can see P2A or P2 anterior, P2 posterior part of posterior cerebral arteries. <clears throat> The fetal configuration in which the proximal posterior cerebral artery is small and the posterior communicating artery provides the major supply to the posterior cerebral artery and is larger than the P1. Here we have the basilar, the basilar artery. In the right side, the superior cerebellar artery posterior cerebral artery that is coming mainly from supraclinal carotid artery. This is a fetal configuration, and this is P1. As you can see, this is very short, and here we have a special configuration, anatomical configuration of this posterior cerebral artery. Which of these is P1? We know that <coughs> this, this artery is posterior cerebral artery. I think this is bifurcation, this one, because this artery is joining with posterior communicating artery. So this is very small artery. P1 and is very large. And this one is superior cerebellar artery. So this other artery is a branch coming from P1 in the right side here. So the bifurcation is this one, not this, is this. A hypoplastic arterial segment, mainly in the circle of Willis, 
is uh, defined as one having a diameter of one millimeter or less. So these small arteries are less than one millimeter. So they are, they are called hypoplastic arteries. The posterior portion of the circle of Willis sends a series of uh, perforating arteries into the diencephalon and midbrain. Some of the perforating branches arising from the upper part of the basilar artery overlap with some of those arising from the posterior circle. This, in this video, we, can see, separate. we can see this uh, anatomic configuration. For example, <clears throat> in this case, I could not find a posterior communicating artery. Instead, we have a posterior cerebral artery or this, this artery, but in this case, the main flu is coming from posterior communicating artery arising directly from the supraclinal carotid artery. There is no communication between these arteries, posterior communicating artery and this, this branch coming from bifurcation. In the left side, we have P1, P2, and posterior communicating artery. And these branches going to the interpeduncular fossa. The P1 segment, also called the pre-communicating segment, extends from the basilar bifurcation to the junction with the posterior communicating artery. A fetal configuration in which the P1 has a smaller diameter than the posterior communicating artery and the PCA arises predominantly from the carotid artery, occurs in approximately one third of hemispheres. A normal configuration in which the P1 segment is larger than the P com A is found in nearly two thirds of hemispheres. A few hemispheres will have a posterior communicating artery and P1 of the same diameter. A fetal configuration may be present on both sides. Uh, in, the, in some brains, I have put some arteries like uh, you are watching in this slide. I cut the basilar artery in order to make some dissections of brain stem. But in here is very important uh, to see uh, uh, these uh, uh, two superior cerebellar arteries in this case, in the left side. So let's go to the to this video in order to show these uh, fissures. Right side, P1. And in this case, I could this posterior cerebral artery in order to show the small branches coming, coming from P2. These branches are going to the cruz cerebri, to the brain pedoncles, as you can see in this video. The relatively constant branches arising from P1 are the thalamoperforating artery, 
which by definition enters the brain through the posterior perforated substance. Posterior perforated substance. The medial posterior colloidal artery directed to the choroid plexus in the third ventricle and lateral ventricle. The branch to the quadrigeminal plate and running to the cerebral peduncle and mesencephalic tegmentum. Hippocampal arteries uh, are present, arises in the crural or ambient system and is the first cortical branch of the PCA. It supplies the uncus anterior para hypocampal gyrus and hippocampal formation and the dentate gyrus. So here we have posterior cerebral artery, and this is hippocampal. This is hippocampus. So here we have the hippocampal artery coming from P2. This is a beautiful picture to show this small artery para hippocampal artery. Here we can see in this slide, P1, posterior communicating artery, this is hypoplastic. P2 divided in two segments, P2 anterior, P2 posterior. And here we have the hippocampal artery. So this uh, picture I showed you last uh, lecture, and I think is very, very interesting because <clears throat> you can see the basilar bifurcation, superior cerebral arteries, the third cranial nerve, and look at this. This is P1 in the right side, P1. This is very, very small hypoplastic, but it has a fenestration in here, this short segment and very small P1. This is a lateral view, but let's go to see the superior view of this small segment. It's really amazing what we can see in here. The hypoplastic segment of P1, look in this case how many branches are coming directly from this hypoplastic segment, P1. Amazing, this, this anatomical variation. This is interpeduncular fossa and both third cranial nerves. The P2 segment begins at the posterior communicating artery, P2, lies within the crural and ambient cisterns and terminates lateral to the posterior edge of the midbrain. The P2 is divided into an anterior and posterior part because the surgical approach to the anterior and posterior halves of this segment often differ and because it is helpful in identifying the origin of the many branches that arise from P2. The anterior part is designated the P2A or crural because its relation with the peduncular, the peduncles of the brain. The anterior part is the crural and peduncular segment because it courses around the cerebral peduncle in the crural system. The posterior part is designated the P2P or the ambient or lateral mesencephalic segment because it courses lateral to the midbrain in the ambient system. So here we have crural sister and ambience sister. So as I told you in uh, anterior slide, here we have 
the posterior cerebral artery coming directly from supraclinal carotid artery. We cannot differentiate in here the posterior communicating from the posterior cerebral artery. This is only one. And in the bifurcation of the basilar artery, we have a very short segment and these branches going to the posterior part of the brain stem. Most probably these arteries are the posterior choroidal arteries. We have two of them, posterior choroidal cerebral arteries, anterior lateral and medial, lateral and medial. Another picture to show P2 segment is this one. Here we have the third cranial nerve, fourth cranial nerve, the pons, cerebellum, and temporal lobe. Let's go to magnify this picture. And here we can see third cranial nerve, posterior cerebral artery, superior cerebral artery, the fourth cranial nerve, and here we have some branches, some cortical branches going to the temporal lobe. Let's go to see uh, this video, the next video. In surgery of uh, this region, it's very important to make a good dissection, a good and careful dissection of the arachnoid membrane to define, to identify clearly the small branches in this region. We can see the fourth cranial nerve, arachnoid, And once we have dissected this, we can show this beautiful region of the brain. The crural system, ambient system, fourth cranial nerve, the cruz cerebri, the peduncle, of the brain, the P2A begins at the posterior communicating artery and courses between the cerebral peduncle. In this case, we have P2A, P2 anterior, and P2 posterior. These arteries are going to irrigate this a small anatomical structure. The pineal gland, this is pineal gland. Here we have the mesencephalon, substantia nigra, the aqueduct of Silvius, and here we have branches coming from the posterior choroidal artery, the medial posterior choroidal artery, going to the pineal gland. Here we have the splenium of the corpus callosum, and here we have the cortical branches of posterior cerebral artery. pineal gland. The thalamogeniculate arteries arise directly from P2 beneath the lateral thalamus and penetrate the part of the roof of, of the ambient cistern. 
formed by the geniculate bodies and surrounding area. The posterior cerebral artery most commonly gives origin to two or three thalamogeniculate arteries, but there may be as many as seven. They arise near the junction of the crural and ambient segments with a nearly equal number arising from each segment. At the end of this lecture, I'm going to show you a beautiful video to look this interesting area. This is the posterior aspect of uh, this uh, posterior communicating, post posterior cerebral artery, sorry. And here we have the pineal gland and several branches going to the quadrigeminal plate and also to the pineal gland. Here we have the venous, the, the, the veins in the posterior aspect. Superior quadrigeminal, the pineal gland with some arachnoid. These are branches coming from medial posterior choroidal artery. These are trochlear nerve. And these are arteries coming from superior cerebellar artery. The P3 or quadrigeminal segment proceeds posteriorly from the posterior edge of the lateral surface of the midbrain and ambient system to reach the lateral part of the quadrigeminal sister and ends at the anterior limit of the calcarine fissure. The posterior cerebral artery often divides into its major terminal branches, the calcarine and parieto occipital arteries from reaching, before reaching the anterior limit of the calcarine fissure. The average length of the P3 segment is two centimeters the P3 from both sides approach each other posterior to the colliculi. The point where the posterior cerebral arteries from each side are nearest is referred to as the collicular or quadrigeminal point. This is quadrigeminal point here. This is quadrigeminal tubercles. Like in this picture like quadrigeminal colliculus. So here is P4, posterior cerebral artery, fourth segment, also known as cortical segment. This uh, P4 includes the branches distributed to the cortical surface posteriorly. This is parieto-occipital artery. And it begins at the anterior end of the calcarine sulcus. This is calcarine sulcus. The P4 segment includes the branches distributed to the cortical surface. The dysfunction caused by occlusion of the individual posterior cerebral artery branches has been reviewed. Occlusion of various branches may also lead to some stasis disturbances caused by involvement of afferent pathways in the medial lemniscus or thalamus. Motor weakness caused by involvement of the corticospinal tract in the internal capsule or peduncle. Memory deficits caused by involvement of the hypothalamic pathways entering and exciting the mammillary bodies. Autonomic imbalance caused by disturbances of the sympathetic and parasympathetic pathways in the anterior and posterior diencephalo. Alteration of consciousness caused by ischemia of the midbrain reticular formation. 
abnormal movements caused by involvement of cerebellothalamic circuits in the midbrain and thalamus and endocrine disturbances caused by involvement of the hypothalamic pituitary axis. So it's very complex, the anatomy of uh, this posterior cerebral artery, but uh, amazing the, the alterations that we could have if we have some infarction or damage to this important artery and their branches. This image shows a persistent common trigeminal artery, uh, primitive uh, trigeminal artery, and what appear to be two posterior cerebral arteries. Posterior cerebral arteries, this one, this one, and basilar artery, and this is the trigeminal primitive artery. Uh, let's go to see these uh, final slides. Uh, in this case, I dissected this brain in order to show this beautiful anatomy of posterior cerebral artery. This is a hippocampus. Temporal lobe has been resected. Let's go to, to see. Uh, this is a, a, an amazing uh, region of, uh, of uh, the brain stem. The branches coming from posterior cerebral artery. Let me show you a video about this. Posterior cerebral artery, P2A, P2 posterior, and the branches coming from posterior cerebral artery going to the cruz cerebri to the peduncle. Very small branches. Choroid plexus in the lateral horn of ventricle. Anterior choroidal artery, and this artery is posterior choroidal artery. This, this area seems to have a few arteries, but look at this. This is, for me, this is really amazing. Here we have the fourth cranial nerve, and look this area. It's really amazing what we can see in these branches coming from posterior cerebral artery. In almost all the brain that I dissected, I can see these numerous branches coming from this posterior cerebral artery. Really amazing to see these numerous branches. anterior choroidal artery, plexus, choroid plexus, and the ambient cistern. This is ambient cistern. So thank you so much for your attention. And let me tell you that it's a big honor to be here with all of you. Thanks, Dr. 
Bin Shu, thanks, Dr. John Benny. And of course, Dr. Duha Hermes Niemi. Thank you so much. Okay, Ben. Thank you, Victor. Thank you for the, for your uh, very detailed uh, uh, presentation of the anatomy of a uh, PCA and uh, uh, actually uh, this is very uh, useful in the rear uh, operations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vinchu. Mm -hmm. Hello, Takashi Kon. How are you? Good evening. Uh, good evening, Victor. So uh, thank you for the very informative lecture. Uh, we seldom uh, encounter PC uh, aneurysm in Japan now. And so, but uh, very informative for young residents, uh, our colleagues. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. Well, one thing uh, I wanted to try, Victor, and I'll get Jesse involved here. If any Chinese neurosurgeons or residents have a question, you can ask Jesse, the Chinese interpreter, directly, or you can text her your question. They can text you, right, uh, Jesse? Yes. yes, thank you. Yeah, they can text her. You don't have to get on the screen. You don't have to be live. You can just text or, or just tell Jesse your question. Uh, okay. In the meanwhile, we'll continue on the, in the panel. Anybody in the panel uh, want to make a comment? Uh, Zanab, are you there from Africa? I, 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 I think Saitaha, Saitaha has a comment. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Saeed. <laughs> Yes, Saeed does a French neurosurgery grand rounds. Are you there, Saeed? He's here. He's trying to get in. Can you hear me? Okay. Let me make sure you're in there. Sometimes this is not working right. Okay, there you go. Okay, hold on. Let me try to get you in there, Saeed. Because sometimes... Uh, Oh, there we go. Okay, Saeed, very good. Hello, Hello. thank you. Hello. Thank you very much, Victor, for this uh, lecture. It's uh, a pleasure to, to have you. Uh, uh, I appreciate uh, uh, the, the, the anatomy's uh, work, the anatomic work, especially in the basilar apex. I'm interested by this uh, region. And uh, as, uh, as we know, the, this uh, region is uh, in relation with the, the embryologic uh, uh, development, especially especially with uh, the time of immersion of uh, the uh, two ventricle, two vertebral arteries, uh, and uh, um, the time of the uh, regression of trigeminal uh, artery is uh, the base. Uh, uh, the, um, uh, the final morphology of this uh, uh, is, uh, of this uh, complex basilar apex, uh, uh, it will be uh, symmetric and cranial or asymmetric cranial or uh, basal. Uh, it's a very interesting slide, and uh, I appreciate uh, what you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Said. Thank you. I hope. I, I, I hope uh, if you if you accept to 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 do some works about uh, my friend Brassier, the, 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 it's a French anatomist who study well the, this uh, um, uh, region, uh, and uh, can, I can uh, send you the, his paper. His uh, very interesting paper. Okay, a honor, a honor for me, Said. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh, Thank you. Yes, uh, Said. Said heads the French neurosurgery grand rounds, and he's uh, from the island of Reunion. It's it's an island yes. off the east coast of Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, did you did your training in in France, uh, Said? Or yes, it's um, it's. Uh, uh, right now, it's a French department. So it's uh, overseas department. 
And uh, yes, uh, I uh, I do my study in uh, France and uh, Marseille, uh, in Paris and uh, Marseille and uh, Montpellier. They have some big neuroanatomy centers there. In yes, France, yes, right? exactly. they have we have the, the greatest anatomist. Uh, like uh, Brassier, Mercier, Fournier, uh, uh, Maldonado, Igor Maldonado, uh, and uh, some, uh, there are uh, some school of Toulouse with Lazort, uh, uh, who was uh, a great uh, anatomist, Marseille with Salomon uh, and uh, his uh, team, uh, Angers, Mercier, uh, Rennes with Brassier, uh, oh, uh, there is, uh, yes. Oh, wow. Victor, have you been over there for France for the neuroanatomy community? Have you been there, Victor? Can you hear me? Oh, you're muted, Victor. In France, uh, you mean. You're muted, Victor. You're mute. You're mute. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have been in the French webinars, uh, very interesting cases, but I, I uh, speak uh, just a little bit. Uh, French, <laughs> so, uh, okay. I, I, I'm going to study French. It's a okay. really nice uh, idiom. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay, any more comments for, from the audience? Okay, Victor. What is it next week? What is next week? Uh, it's, uh, we are going to we are going to review the cerebellar arteries uh, and vertebral arteries. Okay, That's very interesting good. topic. And the last one is going to be about the anatomy of the spinal cord, vasculature anatomy. That is also very interesting because mm. I have been working uh, uh, spinal cord for almost fifteen years, and I can show you some uh, interesting uh, uh, topics about that. Very good. Ben, Ben, how are the Chinese numbers today? <clears throat> uh, now, totally, we have more than uh, 4,500 audience, totally. That's, that's for cumulative. Victor's I think that kind of yeah, yes, adds, yes. Up, adds up. Yes. Wow, <laughs> amazing. Yes. So we're getting, getting to the Chinese uh, Victor, population. may I have a suggestion? Uh, if you're talking to the spinal arteries, Maybe uh, you're better uh, talking about the vein at the same time. Yes. About what? Um, vein. Vein, vein, artery, vein. and the vein yes. at the yes, same yes, time. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they are uh, they are very very important. Binshu, uh, mm -hmm. can you put uh, in the screen the the number of uh, uh, a screenshot? Screen a screenshot. Yeah, I, I can do it, Ben, if you want. Um, let me just hurry you. And I'll screen share it, uh, Victor. It'll be my chance to present. present. Uh, okay. Let me screen share you, Victor. Just give me a second. Oh, I'm restricted. I can't screen share. I'm sorry. Okay. I guess you can. Okay. So we got the numbers, uh, uh, and I can get it exactly. Yeah, it's like 4,600. So uh, that's great. Okay. Maybe, maybe Jesse can put the screenshot in the screen a picture about the number of assistants in China. Uh, you know, this is really amazing. Uh, I would like to have the, the, ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a uh, 4,515. Uh, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Okay, everyone, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks and we'll amazing. see you next week. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Okay. okay. Okay, Victor. Well, yeah, it went good. I was having I, I was worried that the screen share wasn't gonna work. <laughs>
I gotta, yeah. gotta uh, you can stay, you can go back, you can stay. I'm gonna test my screen share, okay? Because I gotta make a change uh, do, in do, the do, settings. Do you, do you have it? Do you have the screenshot? Yeah, well, I've gotta go into my settings. No, like I can't. When I try to screen share, it says it's been disabled. So I've gotta go to my settings. Maybe no. maybe we can ask to uh, Jesse if uh, he can send if he well, can. I just send need us. someone to stay for a second, just to. Uh, so I'm gonna test. I'm gonna make a setting change, and I think it's gonna work. You just need some feedback from people. And just give me a second. Screen sharing, okay. If not, I'm going to send you to Miami some federals. Some federals? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> but, I, but, you, but you know, with the federals, it's just a matter of price. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it took me a while to learn that. Uh, yeah. Because Thank they you. told me they told me I need a polio injection. I said, polio? It's been eradicated. <laughs> and they said, no. <laughs> well, you know how it worked out. I finally got away. I got I got through it. But uh uh, what, what was I going to show here? Oh, I want to show. Yeah, I've been, I got to check this. I got to check this. Well, I'll have to do it. Okay, very good. Takashi, thanks a lot. Thank you, Takashi. Thank you. Really Thank, nice you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. See you next yeah, week. We have a, yeah, we have a couple of Spanish ones. Uh, yeah, okay. Like Borba's going to start to do a lot. And Louis Borba, Victor, is doing a lot. Uh, we're doing one tomorrow. Okay. Nine o'clock with Borba. We're doing one uh, with from, from Argentina on Sunday, but it's a bad time for you. It's a six at yeah. night in, in Argentina. Six which at is, night. Okay. Yeah, which is for yeah, you. I like, try to attend like as five possible. Or six in the morning. Well, just check out my uh, my uh, Facebook. All all the webcasts mm -hmm. are on there. So okay. we had as I said yeah. one today. So. Okay. Also, okay, my good. sister is thank watching you. today. Thank you, Victor. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Victor. Bye. And